welcome to your love reading for mid-November. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, how's it going? Guys, if you're single and this reading turns into a couple's reading, I never know until I'm doing it. Um, there is a singles reading posted separately for those of you that are completely single. Not that this one won't resonate, but if it doesn't, that's there as well. Okay? Okay. All right, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know as far as their love life is concerned in mid-November? What you up to? Love makes the difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. Okay. All right, y'all. Here we go. Overall energy for Gemini and love. How are Geminis feeling? What are they thinking? What is their overall mindset as it pertains to love? The Hermit. You guys hide now. Virgo energy, but this is the energy that you yourself are in right now. So you're probably isolating yourself for whatever reason. We'll figure that out in a minute. Recent past. Recent past for Gemini and love. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Back to back majors, guys. Present energy for Gemini and love. The Nine of Swords. What? All right, I see. Immediate future for Gemini. Immediate future for Gemini and love. Oh, that is way too many. Immediate future. Again, with the too many cards, guys. Let's try this again. Okay. Immediate future for Gemini in love mid-November. There we go. The moon reversed. Pisces three majors and you've only got four cards out so far so we'll start here and see where it takes us okay okay so you guys are in this hermit energy right hiding out hermiting yourself it's kind of dark night of the soul energy so you're probably not feeling the greatest and you're just taking a little time out to process either whatever's going on in your life what you should do or you know if you just went through something major how did it happen why did it happen that kind of thing it's to gain some wisdom. Clarify the Hermit for a Gemini. The world reversed. Okay, so there's something here that's trying to close out for you. There's a cycle that's trying to close out in your life, right? But you're resisting it because you feel like there's unfinished business or you feel like there's some kind of closure that you need. Um, so that's why you've kind of gone within because you don't know what to do about it because you don't you're not you don't feel like you're ready to move to another cycle in your life you are or the world energy wouldn't be there it's just you yourself don't feel like you're ready so you're kind of closed off right now trying to figure all that out it doesn't mean that a relationship is ending it just means that if you're in a relationship, it's it's time for it to go to the next level, right? It's The world energy is an elevation. It's a leveling up. It's moving on to a new cycle. Could be a whole new relationship, but if it's not, it's definitely a leveling up of an, of an existing one, okay? All right, your recent past. You've got temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is balance. Your inner world, your outer world are in harmony. All is well. But now here in your present, something has happened. Because you were doing well in your present. Now something has happened. And now you're, you're just being a freaking disaster. And I don't mean that to be like judgy. <laughs> you know, we've all been there. And this can be their energy too. This might not even be you. It can be either one of you. This is anxiety. It's depression. It's like being unable to sleep, being unable to eat, just all in your freaking feelings. And it is air, so it's you as well as Libra and Aquarius, 
Let's see what this Nine of Swords is about, though, because you were doing well. You have Temperance, and then you go to the Nine of Swords. That's that's kind of opposite energies. So let's see how you got there, what this is all about. We have the Knight of Wands, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You might be dealing with a rather immature fire sign, um, somebody that just kind of likes to have fun, um, isn't real consistent. Let's see here. Why do we have this? Why do we have this Knight of Wands here? The Four of Pentacles reverse. So you might be letting go of someone that was just too inconsistent for you. That's Earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's a letting go of something that you were holding on to really tightly or someone else is doing that. Um, it looks like it's because this person, the Knight of Wands, they're fun, you know, whatever. They're a good time, but that's about it. They're real passionate, but they don't stick around, you know. Um, so it looks like you're letting go of that kind of person because they just weren't at your maturity level. But it is causing a lot of stress here. In your immediate future, you have the moon reverse. This is Pisces energy, but with the moon reverse, it's secrets coming out. Um, revelations, you know, things that you didn't know. Let's see what it is. It's things coming to light. Clarify the moon reverse for Gemini. The three of pentacles reverse. So could have been a third party situation that came out, but I don't really think it's that. It looks like it's just it's just kind of being revealed that you guys don't work well together. You just, there's not a lot of teamwork. The partnership really isn't there. It's just, you're not building on anything. You guys are not, you're not, you don't build well together. There's not anything happening there as far as stability. I really think it was just, they were just having fun. Potential obstacle for Gemini. Potential obstacle for Gemini. Whoa, okay. Well, we've got two here. So we have the Seven of Swords reversed, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have the Page of Wands reversed, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So for these to be your obstacle, I think that it came out that this other person here was maybe hooking up with other people, um, or just like sex texting other people, okay? Um, and that's that's Knight of Wands energy. They're not they're not committed. So I think it they either confessed or they got caught. Like maybe you found some text messages or something. Uh, all right, advice advice for Gemini. the Empress. This is all about growth and expansion. Focus on your own growth. Focus on your own abundance. Focus on being a whole person yourself so that you, you don't end up in this position when you have to cut somebody like this off. All right. This is divine feminine energy. Focus on your feminine energy. Focus on any healing that needs done. Plant your seeds. All right. When you're in that place, when you're in that hermit energy, that dark night of the soul kind of place, that's where you can plant your seeds, you know, and just wait for things to grow, not with this person, because it's just not possible with them. All right, one more advice for Gemini. Yep, the devil reverse Capricorn. Release yourself from toxicity. It's holding you back, okay? There's toxicity that's holding you back from your growth, from your abundance, okay? <laughs> Whatever it is, it's toxic for you. If it's addiction, if it's some kind of to toxic behavior pattern, a mindset, obsession, feeling bound to a situation that isn't growing, you need to release yourself from that because it really, it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Clarify this devil energy, clarify the devil. The Ten of Cups. Yep, there you go. Whenever you release yourself from this, whatever it is, 
that's restricting you, if it's this person, a relationship, or a belief system, you get your Ten of Cups. There it is. And with the Empress and the Ten of Cups here, guys, if you have kids, cool. If you don't have kids, they're definitely in the plan. Okay? That's babies. Babies and family. All right? But you got to release the toxic shit first. You're just holding yourself back with that. And if you've got this person here, this Knight of Wands, this lying about some sex text, they're not the kind of person that you want to be breeding with. Really. Really, really. All right. Take care, Gemini.